Growing up, my dad would always tell me the famous story of how he saw Michael Jordan. We were all psyched to see Michael Jordan, you know, the world's famous basketball player, right, of all times. So Michael Jordan, of course, was at our time one of the most valuable players and a spectacular player as well. Just his awesome uh, dunks and what he did for the Chicago Bulls, which was a fantastic team. Scottie Pippen, Rodman, Steve Kerr, but all these guys played. Uh, Jordan was the, the guy, but they were good as a team. Of course, Jordan made it even better. In the summer of 1984, the Chicago Bulls had the third pick in the upcoming NBA draft. With it, they took Michael Jordan. Fast forward a few years to 1991, and the Bulls won three NBA championships in a row. A few years later, after Michael Jordan came out of retirement, the Bulls won another three championships. Michael Jordan was a 14 times NBA All-Star, five-time MVP winner, six-time NBA champion, NBA Defensive Player of the Year, NBA Rookie of the Year, and NBA Playoffs all-time leading scorer. So I take my daughter who played basketball at school, and we're going to see the 76ers, which we didn't care about, but we live in Philadelphia, so we're going to see the Sixers. We get tickets. Michael Jordan at this time is off the Bulls. And okay, actually, so this uh, wasn't the Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan, owner, but it was uh, still Michael Washington Jordan. Wizards. And so we get down there, we drive, park, get all excited to see Michael Jordan. Hopefully going to do some Duncan flying in the air, Air Jordan stuff. And we get there and we see him down on the floor and he's dressed in a suit. And so he was on the sidelines the whole night and he just kind of coached and sat there and he never played. So that was our famous story of seeing Michael Jordan but never seeing Michael Jordan actually play. Okay, so the NBA formed in 1949 with only 16 teams. There were teams like the Baltimore Bullets, the St. Louis Bombers, the Chicago Stags, the Waterloo Hawks, and the Sheboygan Redskins. But now there's 30 teams, and we recognize them, like the Golden State Warriors, the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Philadelphia 76ers. But what's crazy is, after all that time, only 19 have won a championship at least once. That means 11 have never won an NBA championship. What's even crazier is only five teams have won more than three times. The Lakers and Celtics combine for 33 championships. That leaves 37 for everyone else. Dynasty is a word that pops up in sports a lot. It generally means a team that sustains success and rules their era. Think Greece, Rome, Britain. Millions of people watch the NBA every season, rooting for their favorite team, picking their favorite players. My name is Dylan Garvin, and I'm more interested in the game outside of the game. In this simple game that involves one ball, two hoops, and ten players, how do you crack the code and build the perfect team? This is Dynasty.